There is a power at the center of your being so wonderful that it staggers the imagination even to try and think of it. It is this thing called life. It is in you and in everything and everyone. To learn how to use this power is the greatest thing in life. Life has already provided everything you need for your happiness, your physical well-being, and your success. It has already placed the power to live at the center of your being. But it is up to you to uncover this power. What do you think that life holds in store for you? Do you look forward to success and happiness? Is yesterday a pleasant memory? And what about today? Did you ever think that the only yesterday you can live over again is in your own mind? And the only tomorrow you can live is also in your mind. Your yesterdays are but memories, and your tomorrows, anticipation. But just as today flows out of yesterday, so tomorrow will be the outcome of what you think today. Are you, like the rest of us, carrying a lot into the day that ought to be let go of? If so, it's up to you to rearrange your thoughts about yesterday so that there won't be any fear or hurt carried over into today. It's up to you to look confidently forward to tomorrow so that today you won't be plagued by the thoughts of what might happen in the future. There is no way to make today happy other than by living as though today would be an endless succession of your heart's desire. Did you ever take time to think things over and to wonder what is back of this thing called life? to be well and happy and successful. And don't you think that this thing called life must wish us all to have a full and a glorious existence? If this were not true, why would you have all those secret longings of your heart? For your imagination must flow from some secret source. If this weren't true, how could new ideas be born in your mind? Seems as though there is an irresistible something trying to interpret itself in everything and in everyone. A little seed planted in the ground strives to express itself, to blossom and to bear fruit. Since this feeling is in everything, everywhere, and at the very center of your being, you must be following a natural law of life when you conceive of a greater possibility, when you plan out new things to do, and when you wish with all the feeling that is in you to live more abundantly. It is impossible to think that life would have implanted this imagination and this feeling at the very center of your being unless it were possible of fulfillment. Suppose someone were to say to you that life is what you make it that it really is up to you, and that the imagination that paints all nature 
in such vivid colors is trying to do something for you, which, of course, it can only do through you, something that will make your life happy and colorful.